Another day, another iPhone 14 and 14 Pro leaks and rumors video. A lot has changed since my last one, but I still highly encourage you guys to check out that video. We have a lot of things to talk about. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, help me reach 200,000 subscribers. Drop a like on this video while you add it too. But first things first, let's talk about the Apple Watch Series 8. More than likely, we will see the Apple Watch Series 8 revealed during the iPhone keynote, and we will see a new body temperature sensor, according to Minchi Kuo, 72% accurate. If you guys remember the Series 7, there was some talk saying that Apple didn't have enough time to incorporate a new sensor to the Series 7, but this year, now we have the time. Um, unlikely that we will see a redesign. We even have the same exact process and power as the Series 6, on the series seven. So the only thing you're getting is that screen increase. So with the series eight, we could potentially see a new chip, new sensors, but we could see the same exact screen size, the same exact body. So um, give or take, we will actually see an upgrade to the Apple Watch this year. Now, if you've been living under a rock, Apple has released a self-service repair program where you could be able to change your own iPhone screen so you have genuine OEM Apple parts. And honestly, it's like a massive box. I I'm gonna throw some videos in the description and you guys gotta check it out for yourself. So this is actually a good Apple the fact how we could be able to self-repair our Apple products, that's how it should be. And as we know, Apple is more and more moving away or really don't care about that too much. We've seen it from time to time again. So this is a nice step in the direction and pretty much they essentially got in trouble for it. So they had to do something like this. And just a quick reminder, Apple's WWDC, Worldwide Developer Conference, will be on June 6th. So we're getting close to WWDC and the reveal of iOS 16, iPadOS 16, watchOS, tvOS, all the OSs, everything software on Apple products will be held on the 6th of June. This is gonna be an online only event. Let me know down in the comments down below, do you guys miss the classic keynotes where it's in person. I kind of do miss it, like having the crowd reaction and I miss that. Um, hopefully they can return it for the iPhone 14 reveal, hopefully. Be on the lookout for iOS 16 coverage. Of course, I'm gonna be reviewing it, showcasing some features. So you guys don't wanna miss that. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. And speaking of the iPhone 14, we have a bunch of things to talk about. We have the satellite feature getting closer later this year. Now, we've been hearing this since the iPhone 13 release, and of course, that never happened, but this satellite feature is going to allow you to make phone calls without a cellular data, so you could be in the forest, somewhere where there is limited to no cellular service, and if you're in an emergency, you could dial someone, call somebody, and it's just thanks to the satellites up in the sky. Yeah, so it is rumored that it will be coming out this year. And that is according to Mark Gurman. Now, we have a new video that goes hands-on with the iPhone 14 mock-ups. Now, we talked about the CAD files on the last video. Now we have hands-on footage. Now, this is just a 3D model of the iPhone 14. And once you see this video, you already know what time it is. This is pretty much it. So the iPhone 14, 14 Max, 14 Pro, and the 14 Pro Max in hand. We have these little models here. And if you notice, you, you have the notch on the iPhone 14, but then you don't have no notch on the 14 Pro. Now, don't get your hopes up too high. Don't hold your breath. We will see a pill-shaped cutout. So it's the same exact cutout that we discussed it early on the previous video. And I'm almost running out of breath. <laughs> and essentially, they just couldn't get that cutout precise on the 3D cutout here. So once you see this video, this is pretty much official. No more minis. And essentially, I think the 14 Max is gonna sell extremely well. And on top of that, we have leaked photos of the iPhone 14 display designs. So like I said, we still have that pill shape cutout. The bezels are ever so slightly thinner on the 14 Pro Max, opposed to the iPhone 14 Pro. No notch, just that pill shape and we have in that notch on the 14 Max. Um, let me know down in the comments also, do you guys prefer this pill shape design or a notch design? I wanna see how it is in action, but shout out to iUpdate, he put like some kind of screenshot on top of the pill shape, and it looks pretty modern, I ain't gonna lie, it looks pretty modern, it looks clean, but at the same time, please, Apple, give us the battery percentage. And this is how you know this is official tissue. The Apple Hub just put up the iPhone 14 lineup, showcasing all the models. 
And as you guys can see, the iPhone 14, same exact display panel, same bezel, 60 hertz, same notch. We even have the same as like A15 Bionic chip for crying out loud. So <laughs> I don't know how Apple is gonna be able to present this on stage. But the true upgrade comes down to the iPhone 14 Pro and the Pro Max. And yeah, you're getting all the bells and whistles. So it's gonna be interesting. In terms of color options, the iPhone 14 and 14 Max is going to come in Midnight, Starlight, Blue. We could see a different variation of Blue, Red, and Purple. Purple is going to be the highlight color during this key note. It would have been cool to see Yellow returning or even like a, a Fire Orange. And in terms of the 14 Pro and the Pro Max, you will see your typical Pro colors such as Graphite, Gold, Silver, and like I said, purple is going to be the star of the show. So this is the new color replacing Sierra Blue. And let me know down in the comments down below how you guys feel about this one. I think it's going to look gorgeous, but we've seen purple before. I wish we would have seen like a, a bronze color, but maybe that would look too similar to the gold. Or maybe even a red, even better yet. Seeing purple again, it's cool, it's refreshing, especially on the Pro, but we've seen this before. Be and as we discussed it earlier, the prices are going to increase on the Pro, so um, $100 more. So the 14 Pro is going to start at $1,100, while the Pro Max is going to start at uh, $1,200. And I, phones are getting expensive. Now, before I even go, I want to talk about the iPhone lineup real quick. There's two things that I see Apple doing. Here's option A, how I see Apple doing the iPhone lineup. We could start off with the iPhone SE, which starts at 430 then keep the iPhone 12 mini, make that $499. And of course, we axing out the iPhone 11 altogether. And then we're going to have the iPhone 13, the full size iPhone 13, not the mini. That's going to run you $599. And then we're going to have the iPhone 14, I believe, is either going to start at $699 or $799. Then we have the max model, which is going to be $900, and so on and so forth. Or Apple could potentially ax out the iPhone 12 completely. Start the lineup with the iPhone SE, of course, then have the iPhone 13 mini and the regular size iPhone 13, and then continue on with the 14 and the 14 Pros. So they could also do something like that too as well. So I don't know what Apple is going to do with the lineup. It's a lot of iPhones as it is, and it's unfortunate to see the iPhone 11 go, but it is time. That is one of my favorite iPhones to date, for real. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just want to make this one real quick. Let me know down in the comments down below. Are you planning on getting the iPhone 14 or 14 Pro? Click on that beautiful red subscribe button for more videos like this one and all things tech and gaming. And make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Help me out tremendously. And follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Simply Pops. Until next time, guys, have a simple day. Peace.